as the famous sign says in the players' tunnel, this is Anfield. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Premier League football we have for you, it's coming right up. It's Liverpool against Leeds United. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Looking forward to it. I think we're going to have an entertaining tussle here. I think we'll find that out in the first 10 minutes how these teams approach the task. Number 27, Gareth Bale. Number 10. A couple of exceptional talents in a really good game. We might be focusing on. I love watching this pair play. They haven't disappointed this season. They've been the most threatening players for me, for both their teams. Liverpool have just made one alteration. In goal is Alisson, and Robertson starts alongside Trent Alexander-Arnold in defence. Sadio Mane starts with Mohamed Salah in the wide positions. Lionel Messi is the main striker today. Check for you on the Leeds United lineup. He looks as though the manager has set up a team here. Whatever happens, we're not going to be beaten today. It does look that way, doesn't it? And uh, I hope it's not a dull affair, this, because we've seen this manager set up teams in the past and just concentrating on a clean sheet. Liverpool then have kicked off. Blocked off the pass there. So easy in possession. Could get the ball into the box now. Golden opportunity now. A real miscue here. Virgil van Dijk. It's Mane. Good vision. In on goal. There's no flag. He really fancied him to score, but the goalkeeper kept his beliefs and kept him out. Yeah, I mean, he'll be out. Mane! Great save. Alan mcanally has got news of a goal in the Manchester City game. It's a goal for Manchester City. Eight minutes played, 1-0. Well, right on the spot, but the header is off the target. Yeah, it just didn't connect properly. I don't know if it came off his shoulder. Robertson. Plenty of space out wide, and they're going to use it. Put into the box by Mane. Just lost their way in the final moments of that attack. Out into the wide areas now. Taking on the defenders. Players arriving in the middle. Well, they've got to keep the crosses coming in. I'm sure in the end it will deliver something, but it didn't this time. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. He's through. He's in the clear. Goal, they've taken the lead here. They go in front with this very slick attack. And however the opposition sets up against them, they have the power to break them down. It's really exciting, it's really entertaining. And as you've seen, yet again, it's really effective. It was almost an air of, well, we expected this when the goal was celebrated. Nothing too extravagant. I think they know they're the better side and they expect to win. No, I think they do. There's a certain swagger to their play. Uh, an inner self-belief. They know they're better and they're showing out on that pitch. And Liverpool are in front in this game and there's no surprise in that. 27, Gareth 
Well defended, not just getting across, he thought quickly as well. It's Mane. Have a look at what's on now from this wide position, not closed down. He can cut it back now. And now they're two up with another fine piece of attacking play. Typical, really, of the work of the players and the effort that they put in on the training ground. The manager's got terrific belief in attacking football, and he must be thrilled probably beyond even his wildest dreams. They attack, they score, they attack, they score. That's the kind of team they are. Dangled the ball in with that touch. Knew exactly where the goal was, where the ball was. Uh, all about time, and it was so clean, that contact. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. Number 10, Lino Messi. Liverpool striving to be champions. They look like champions out there, Martin, and they have done for a number of weeks, number of months. Just need to keep it going. There's been a goal in the Crystal Palace match, Alan McInally. It's a goal for Chelsea. 24 minutes played, 1-0. Guiding the pass through. Towards Bale, beyond the far post. Straightforward stop for Kiko Casilla. Apologies for interrupting Alan McAnally a moment or two ago. Chelsea did score, and that's the first goal of the game. It's 1-0. And he's dispossessed. The build-up is patient. He's pointed for the free kick. Well, he can't go for goal, but it is a dangerous situation, this, because uh, if he gets it on the money, it's going to be hard to defend against. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. As we can see, Liverpool well ahead in the possession stakes, and haven't we seen some lovely football? De Bruyne, keeper did well to reach it, but he couldn't keep it. Too much pressure for the opposition, who've lost the ball. Well, you can't knock these fans for the noise they're making inside this stadium. Good interception. Read the play well. Good vision here. Scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get to, it is special. And he is feeling that special delight at the moment. And here is another angle on that goal. Liverpool are really on top form in this first half. For Liverpool, number 27, Gareth Bale. Luke Ayling, Pablo Hernandez. He might have put his teammate in here. Beautiful goal. It's his third goal. It's a hat-trick today. He's really been on form. Well, a wonderful achievement to get three goals in a team like this against opposition like this. It's a special day. It certainly is. For a special player too. A player that uh, is the clinical sort and he's shown us that today. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. 27, Gareth Bale.
could be it. Brilliant goal! As indicated, there will be a minimum of three minutes of having time. Well, when you clip the inside of the post, the goalkeeper has got no chance. That was certainly the case here. A good look here, again, via the replay of the goal. The opposition in danger of being blown away here by the remarkable start to the game from the team that's taking them to the cleaners. He's got some room out here in the wide position. Bale. It's half time here. Such an intriguing player to watch, Gareth Bale. A combination of pace and uh, absolute skill as well, moving the ball at such speed. He's a rare talent. Well, you can see from the graphic how busy he's been around that 18-yard box. Really has kept the keeper busy. Well, as you can see from the scoreline as we start the second half, there might not be too much of a contest left in this game. Just buying his team a bit of time by holding the ball up and they're going to join in off him now. Bale. Good vision. Messi. Very, very close. Just past the post. Well, I think half the crowd, you know, thought that was going to nestle in the corner of the net there. But well, they've got some really clever technicians in this side, and we've seen that in the way that they've created this number of chances today. No wonder they're winning comfortably. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. The keeper stops it. There could be a follow-up now. Throw him for Liverpool. Here's Kevin De Bruyne. Tries the shot. He really gave it the laces there, didn't he, Alan? Yeah, he did connect with it beautifully. Not a bad effort at all. Coming up for you on EA Sports. Don't forget, don't miss this. The coverage of the Premier League fixture. Liverpool, they'll be facing Manchester United away from home. Yeah, I've had a lot of supporters get excited about it it's a shot and there it is for Liverpool well he's not going to miss from there he was concentrated had his head down good connection let's have another peek at that goal I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Time to check in with Alan McAnally at Crystal Palace with news of a goal. It's a second goal for Chelsea. It's been... He might have put his teammate in here. He's in on goal. Well, the keeper's done well to keep that one out. Apologies to Alan McAnally for actually intervening there. Confirmation for you that Chelsea did score in that game. And they are winning by two goals to nil. Gone on one possession back with that tackle. Well, that's what they've been looking for. The ball in behind. An instinctive finish from the brilliant Belgian De Bruyne. Well, it was a pleasure to see him in action out there. A pleasure to see the way he took that goal. That is absolutely wonderful. Well, he took it on, didn't he, the shot? And had a go, first time into the net.
Well, he did take a chance, and when you hit them first time like that, the keeper doesn't get a chance really quite often to get set, and that was the case here. Well, it's great when a plan comes together and the manager doubly delighted with the way his team are playing. Well, we're underway again, and you just wonder how many more they can get today. Number 39, Kevin De Bruyne. What about Leeds' next game? They're playing Fulham in the next match, and uh, difficult to call. I don't think uh, there's too much between the two sides. Down in South London is Alan McAnally with a goal. Great pull from Bale. Messi. Should be. And that will peter out, that attack. It's the goalkeeper's ball quite easily. It was a goal for Chelsea. We were hearing from Alan McAnally earlier. The score is now 3-0. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. This could be a chance. And there it is for Liverpool. So slick, so quick, Alan. Well, once he got going, those defenders were never going to catch him. What a finish, too. And we can see a slightly different viewpoint on it. So they restart again, a bit demoralised now, I think, in a game like this. Number 11, Mohamed Nothing so far in this game to surprise us. Perhaps only the, the margin that they lead by. Yeah, it's not always easy coming into a game and everyone's expecting you to get a hat full, but they've kept their focus this side and uh, taken the chances nicely when they've cropped up. That's very good defending, and the player had nowhere to go. We're hearing about a goal at the Emirates, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Arsenal, 75 minutes played, 2-0. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. Pablo Hernandez. Here's Phillips. And Phillips. That's cut out with good vision. Should be a chance here for Mane. What has surprised me, they're going to take him off now, is that he's normally much better at doing the basics of fullback play, defending, stopping crosses coming in, trying to get forward as well to help the attack. None of that's happened today. No, he seemed in a different world. His concentration wasn't there, which is a strange one. I don't know what's going on, maybe off the pitch with him. Mohamed Salah. He's got possession back for his team. I see a substitute coming on for the away team here. Well, this is the time where the managers really earn their money. It's going to be an alteration to try and improve the team. And what about this change? It's Gareth Bale who's looking across and seeing that he's the player who's been hooked, as they say. Pleasure to be here to see it, Martin. And uh, he'll be grabbing that match ball at the end of this match. Cristiano Ronaldo. Promising build-up until that challenge. It's 82 minutes played now. Strong, fair challenge. Pulls out for a throw, though. Time nearly up here. And just throw it forward a bit to their next game. Well, Liverpool go up against Manchester United. And they have played well. They've stroked the ball around. And uh, they'll be hoping to continue that. Adam Forshaw. It's Patrick Bamford. Crisp defending there. Oh, he's won it back. That's a really good tackle. Mohamed Salah. Pushed out by the goalkeeper, but only into a dangerous area. Pablo Hernandez. Well, we're down to the last minute here. 
Kai Havertz. The referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Cut out the pass. Aguero. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, this could be an opportunity in behind the defence. He's looking to get in and fire a shot off here. Only partially away from danger. It's Sadio Mane. Well, then it goes. Well, stuck out a foot and cut off the pass. Teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here. It's finished here. Alan, I know you were keeping an eye on Gareth Bale. How well do you think he contributed to this match? Well, a hat-trick. His team have won. And he might just end up finishing.